Two wiener dogs, two cats. Love animals. Alston Mays holds a special place in his heart for animals. So what the landscaper saw last weekend at this house in rural far northeast Collin County left him feeling like this. It made me want to throw up. Mays and his crew had come to the house to do cleanup. The resident told him they might find a dead dog. But uh, she didn't tell us about the 30 other dead animals out there. So as we were cleaning up, we got to the back side of the house and seen a bunch of cages and animals. I mean, just animals everywhere. He took videos to document it. Videos we had to blur because the images are too graphic. Every single cage out here has got a dead animal in it. Every cage. A dog pen in there with a dead animal in it. And the smell. Horrible. Well, I mean, as soon as we pulled up, you could smell it coming through the vents of the truck. He called his boss. Mays told him they couldn't finish the job. That's when I took videos and just to make sure that something happens with these people. There's like three more over there. Mays also called the sheriff's department. Deputies got a seizure warrant. The sheriff's department says investigators found the remains of a dozen horses and two dozen dogs. I think there's more than that. I mean, underneath, maybe buried. I mean, they've got to have a lot of animals out there. Investigators also seized living animals. Two dogs, two horses, a cow, a lizard, and a snake. They're being cared for by animal control. One person's been taken into custody on an animal cruelty charge. Hopefully something's done with, I mean, everybody that's in that house. And this animal lover will never forget what he saw that day. And he'll hold his animals even closer. In Collin County, I'm Tanya Iser.